uh, but Democrats are focused on something that's essentially already been dealt with in the Mueller report uh, that found that this president had not colluded with the Russians and uh, uh, Attorney General Barr indicated no obstruction, but our Democratic colleagues just can't leave it alone. So today we're wasting this committee's valuable time on executive privilege and blah, blah, blah. Um, Professor Turley, let me, let me ask you this. Um, you had an article in The Hill recently, and, and in that article um, you said uh, the Democrats wanted to manufacture a conflict, and they have succeeded in doing so. What did, what did you mean by that? Well, that was, a, that was a, an, a column on the contempt uh, action against uh, Attorney General uh, Bill Barr. And for full disclosure, I testified at his Senate confirmation. I've known him for years. Um, I believe that the contempt action of this committee uh, was unfounded, but I also believe that if it goes to a federal court, this is another area where I think that this committee could lose. I, the, the issue of Rule 6E was addressed during the confirmation hearing when senators a asked me, why won't he commit to releasing the full non-redacted report? And I said, because that would be a crime. You're asking him to commit to an act to secure confirmation that would violate the, the, the federal law. If he had said that, despite our friendship, I would have opposed his confirmation because that would be unethical. So there's no question that he cannot release that Rule 6e information. I was counsel in the Rocky Flats case. That's the largest Rule 6e case I know of. We spent years trying to get that special counsel report released. So I'm not a fan of Rule 6e, but we lost. And if you take a look at the McKeever case, which was just handed down by the D.C. Circuit, you are heading into a world of hurt if you go to the D.C. Circuit and argue that you could order Barr, or that Barr could unilaterally release Rule 6e information. They just adopted a narrow view of Rule 6e. And by the way, their view, and I agree with the dissent in that case, raises serious questions about how they're interpreting Haldeman versus Sirica. So you could open up that fight if you bring that case back to the D.C. Circuit. I'd encourage you not to, because I happen to like Haldeman versus Sirica. But the, right now, the D.C. Circuit is not a hospitable place. They have adopted the narrower approach of a couple of circuits, like the Eighth Circuit, in interpreting those exceptions under uh, Rule 6E.